It's undeniable that the cost of living is spiralling out of control and it's been made bleaker by skyrocketing energy prices. This is a problem that the government has failed to prepare for and refused to respond to. When the new energy price cap is announced, households in Durham and indeed across the country face a potential 46% rise in their energy bills. And yet the government is doing nothing to protect ordinary people from this hammer blow. Fortunately for the government, while they dither, Labour has a plan. That is to protect households from the worst of spiralling energy costs. To begin with, the government must act immediately to reduce the financial burden on households. According to polling by YouGov, a third of people say a £25 per month increase in their living costs would be unaffordable, while 50% say they couldn't afford a £50 a month increase. I really don't think the government truly appreciate the gravity of the situation for ordinary people. And Labour's plan would mitigate the impact of energy price rises by temporarily scrapping VAT on domestic energy bills, while taking steps to prevent the cost of supplier failure from being passed on to consumers. And we also recognise that there are those who need greater protection from these rises. And that's why Labour would expand, expand the Warm Homes discount and increase it from £140 to £400 a year, ensuring that it reaches the squeezed middle, low-income households as well as pensioners. This, combined with our other proposals, would give eligible households a £600 a year reduction in energy payments. Now, the government will no doubt protest that these plans cost money, but what is public money for if not being spent on the public? At a time when households are experiencing greater pressure than ever on the resources, it's the government's duty to relieve that pressure. And the best bit about this is that it could be paid for through a windfall tax against North Sea oil and gas profits, as ordinary people are left to shiver in the cold homes or pay through the nose for energy Oil and gas companies are expected to report a near record income in 21-22. This simply isn't right, and Labour would make these companies pay. However, we cannot just look at short-term solutions to the crisis, and we must also look to the future. Our energy system is broken, and it needs reform to make it greener and more sustainable by accelerating the switch from gas to homegrown renewables and ensuring that millions of people in Britain have warm and well-insulated homes. Mr Deputy Speaker, today MPs have a simple choice. We can vote to ease the squeeze on families across Britain or we can leave many to choose between heating or reading. I know which I'll be voting for.